Hello and welcome, my name is Amarinske and today I will be doing a review of Down Among the Sticks and Bones. In short, I will give you my opinions and thoughts on this little tiny book, which focuses on the characters Jack and Jill from Every Heart a Doorway. And the main thing I thought was, you know, sort of what the world of Jack and Jill is like from Every Heart a Doorway, so you expect this entire book to be that, but it's not. More than half of the book is actually actually what happened before Jack and Jill ended up finding that door and entering this horror world, which by the way, uh, except for that they end up in a world with like a vampire in a castle and a mad scientist type character in a windmill, not really a lot like horror. I have a feeling it had, was supposed to be a little bit like uh, Dracula and Dr. Frankenstein. And some of those elements definitely come back. But I didn't find it as gruesome and horrific as I had thought I would find it to be. As this was supposed to be sort of a horror story. But no horror was really there. More so one character who was in love, in a kind of insta-love type situation, and another character who became more of a scientific protégé or something. I don't know uh, how to explain it, but basically this is Jack and Jill finding a door uh, in the bottom of a suitcase of clothing and ending up in the moors, which is what their world does look like, does look like. I will not tell you a lot more yet they end up in a vampire's castle, but for some strange reason they don't seem to see in the beginning that it's a vampire. And even for a 12 year old, that's ridiculously blind. Anywho, I like the writing style uh, from halfway through the book on when they ended up in this world, but I missed the vibes and the atmosphere and the world building of this world quite a lot. And since it's fantasy, it's quite important, especially since you want, or she wanted to create kind of a horror type feel. There was not really a lot of horrific stuff happening or a dark type feel, at least not for me. On top of that, there is sections in here of a narrator that you get. And I find that to be quite frustrating and annoying. It's a little bit too obvious that the story is not literally told from certain POVs, but more so from a narrator's point of view. And it's made too obvious that a narrator is telling it at points. And those points were actually really frustrating and dumbing down the story with uh, explaining stuff that if I am right, most if not all of the readers of these tiny books already know. Especially since most of it was about Jack and Jill's not that well established home situation. I just thought it was quite unnecessary and relatively annoying, especially since it's never really stopped. And I don't have a lot more feelings. I gave this book not that high of a rating because the first half was like, a, or first hundred pages even, was about like two stars or so. I really did not enjoy it and constantly thought I wanted to just put the book aside. But since the book is not even 190 pages long and around page 100 the story picked up, I decided to finish it and the second like the final 90-ish pages were actually very enjoyable. So I rated this about like three and a half stars. This is the same rating as the previous book. This is a companion to. And I am still in doubt about which one I think is better because they are not really my style. But this is it for now. Thank you for watching and on to the